Hi, I want to say welcome to another Dalo tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm going to show you how to use custom states in Adalo. In lots of you, I'm sure you've been worried about how do I store data that I, that I don't want to save on my database. How do I store this data and how do I make sure I can always get it back whenever I need it? I've had that trouble myself. There are some applications I want to build that requires me to store data and that requires me to do things with data, but I really can't do it because I I really can't do it because I didn't didn't know how to use custom database. And besides, I do want to store it in my database because that data is always changing all the time. Um so let me show you what what what, what a what a custom state does. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this white. So for a custom state, it's a temporary holder for a data that, you, that that keeps changing, for a data that you don't want to that you don't want to store on your database. For example, we have this data, and it's sent to a, to a temporary holder, and then there's another screen where you're fetching it. This data, this temporary data. It keeps changing because you're always sending different types of data there. Uh, I was building a, I was building a learning management application recently, and I noticed. So when I'm creating the courses, there was a single screen for creating a course, and you do not want a download to reload every time, whenever the person creates a new course. So if you reload the same data to the same screen, it's not going to work very well. It's going to be very slow. It's going to crash sometimes. So what's the easiest thing to do? Create a custom state that when a user clicks on a on on, on a particular custom list, it re, it updates the custom states. When the user clicks, it updates the custom states. And doing so, you don't have to reload at all. Your app just keep going on and on like so. So let's dive into a dialog and see how to do this. So I'm going to get started with a demo application, just like that. Um, I'll get started with a blank application. Uh, my favorite color now is, I think something called close to black, I think 05, 05, 05. Yeah, um, that's my favorite color now because it's 2022, everything is dark now. Everything is dark now, and then there is this. I think it's a blue. I think it's something very close to blue. Then let's just say custom states. So I'll say safe. So this is where we're going. We want to be able to let's let's do something like a video and a couple of lessons. And if you're looking for a tutorial on how to create a learning, man a learning management system, I think I have it on my YouTube channel here. You can always go ahead and check it and you find it there. So what we want to do, we want a particular thing to change based on the value of a custom state. It just keeps updating a particular value based on the value of a custom state. So this is how you create a custom state. First, create an input. Drag an input and put it here. This input, you're going to make it invisible. Or, instead of putting it on the home screen, you can go ahead and create a new screen. Just add a new screen and just call it display data. Whatever you want to call it is fine. Just call it display data. And that will always find it as long as it's on your screen here. So this is where you're going to put your custom states. So you type this and just call it custom states and mind you you can use multiple custom states in one single application so you can have like 200 custom states 1000 custom states if you want to it really doesn't matter so this is what we're going to do so you can see the, the default value for the custom states let's say let's just call it say i am a custom state I am a custom state. That's the default value. Then we're going to create a button right here. And what this button will do, this button will 
update the custom state. That's what the button will do. It will update the custom state like so. We could tell this button to update the custom state, or we could just use a group to update the custom states. Let's use a group. Let's say that's that's where you mostly that's what you mostly be doing. Let's use a group. But for us to do that, let's just create a tiny database and just call it alphabet. Call it alphabet. We'll call it we'll call it A. We'll call it name. Yeah. So then let's go ahead and enter some records. Alphabets, just you know, your normal alphabet. Say A. I, I want to make it as basic as possible. B. Go C. D. Uh, so we'll stop. We'll stop at F. So it doesn't get too long. So we'll say done. And we want to get a group. We want to get a group to display all these alphabets. Now that you're done with adding those records to the database like so, next thing that you want to do is you want to just go ahead and add a list here. So we add a list to the screen. So let's just go ahead and add a custom list like so, a simple list. Because what you want to do, you want to display something all the time. You want to display something all the time and you just call it alphabets. Call it alphabets and then we want to update this custom state every time we click on these alphabets. So we'll go right here and say click on action. The action would be to change input. So you know you're scrolling down, right? So normally the, the action that you always, you know, that, that you always perform in a dialog is either you're creating, you're updating, you're deleting, or you're doing custom action well here we're going to be changing the input and the value is the name yeah that's what we want to change and the input it's right here so we're sending this name to this custom state that is what we're doing so every time we click we send the name to this custom state and now let's just go create a test here and the test will be i am i am letter I am letter A. So it's going to be I am letter A, I am letter B, I am letter C, I am letter D, depending on how many letters we have. So uh, let's go. The test, I have the magic test. I'm going to say other components, screen, display data, custom states. That's what I'm going to say. And this is going to be, so we just turn the screen to, just turn the screen to our welcome screen. So we don't have to do so much login. So click on preview. So if I click on this, you say I am letter F, I am letter D, I am letter C, I am letter B, I am letter A, I am letter D. You can see what's what's happening. We're not reloading the screen, but we're just changing the custom states. This works very well for almost anything. So let's do, let's try something else. I'm going to copy a couple of YouTube videos. So I'm going to go to YouTube. And assume we are creating some, we are creating some app that enables us to, that enable our students to watch tutorial. So we're just going to assume that we're creating a couple of apps that enable our students to watch tutorial. Um, let's look for a couple of very short videos right here. Any type of video would do, but I kind of don't like, um, just want to find something, something easy and short. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, let's just go back to the top. I like church. So, let's copy this. Copy this, yeah. That's one. So, let's go back here. Come back to this alphabet. Cause as alphabet database, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just going to update the record. Okay, let's just add the record and just call it video link. So this is gonna be a test property. Call it video link. That's fine. 
uh, click on records and let's update the record one after the other video link here so let's go find another video link click on the b let's go find another video link again so this is a this is a match between manchester city video link b i will do only a few to save time because it's the same process um let's do this one for edward mandy okay that's fine so now we'll go video three so that's fine you can go on and on and on yourself and we'll take you we'll take this away come back here to this custom states and go to the input value and just say video link so we'll change the current the current this current custom state to the video link here and we'll put a youtube video so let's just say video Let's put a YouTube player. Put a YouTube player here. Yeah, put a YouTube player here. And this YouTube player video, this YouTube player, the video link here will be the custom state. Now that, that's what it's gonna be to be the custom states. So let's go ahead and preview our, our, our application now. So the this is empty right now it is empty right now right uh it's not seeing anything here so there's something wrong i have to come back here and change it let's see what's happening automatic play okay what's happening let's try share Let's share on a different screen to see what happens. Okay, so um, we click on this. Okay, we, we click on A. We can see the video changes. We click on B. You see the video changes. We click on C. You see the video changes. This works really great if you're creating some learning management application, you're creating any type of application that has to do with that's video based. You can actually use this, use custom states to create your application, to place stuff, to do stuff in your application without reloading the screen. And also if you're creating e-commerce application that requires you to make calculations on the fly, you can use custom states. But the thing about custom states is this, if you're doing it on, on a web application, be very careful because users can reload. Immediately users reload, your application, your custom state is gone. It has to start from the default. So either you can use a default, if you're doing e-commerce, use a default which is zero, and so that when your users reload, they come back to the zero default. Uh, if you're doing it on, on mobile app, just keep going and don't give your users a chance to come back. If they go back, it's going to, um, if they go back or they slide down, then your screen will automatically reload. So just have this in mind whenever you're creating a custom state. Well, this is the easiest way for you to do stuff in a dialogue without reloading your screen. So don't forget to subscribe for, to this channel if you are a new person, if you're just watching this channel for the very first time. My name is Paul Okudua and I am from No Code 45. It's a, a no code development agency that helps you build your no code project in weeks instead of months. Feel free to click on any of the link below to just, you know, contact us and ask us questions about your mobile application thank you so much for watching have a lovely 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 day